Hey, this is you. <laughs> and your midterms are coming. Well, if you forgot about it. <laughs> and you're so scared, of course. Mom, I'm so scared about the exams, the midterms next week. Really? Hey, you know what? If you do really well, I'll get you a bunny and a guinea pig. Oh, really? That would be so awesome. Would you like that? Oh, thank you. But you have to do well. Okay. So you go to the pet store, and one specialist explains to you that bunnies do not get well together with guinea pigs. So you go home and you decide to make two paddocks for both animals. But your mom has high requirements on you. She wants you to make one paddock in the shape of a circle, because your garden table is round. And your other paddock has to be square, because look at the chairs. It all has to match, of course. You go to your garage and you find 15 meters of mesh. Or wait a minute, if you're American, you might not be familiar with meters. So 15 meters, that's 49 feet and 2 inches. You almost are working, but your mom reminds you that it has to have the smallest area. Because look at the garden, how beautiful it is. And the animals will eat the grass, so let's minimize the damages. And I'm not even talking about mom's garden, like the carrots in there. Hmm. Well, your dad doesn't really care, but you want to make your mom happy. So you start thinking how to do it. But you realize that you're lucky enough that you're taking AP Calculus. So we have 15 meters of mesh in total. And we know that we have to make um, the smallest enclosed area. Also, we know that we have to make one round shape and uh, one square shape so the animals will not be together and we know that the circumference is 2 pi r uh, if we're talking about a circle and area is pi r square also we know the circumference of a uh, square is 4x and uh, area is x square so here we set up our primary equation which will represent um, our area so if we uh, add together both circle and uh, our square, we will get this equation uh, x square plus pi r square. So we set up our secondary equation because we have two unknown. So secondary equation represents the circumference of uh, both shapes together. And we know that uh, we have 15 meters of mesh in total, so we say that all this together equals 15. Also, we see that uh, r is present in both equations, so we will solve for r in one equation and we will plug in to primary equation uh, in order to get one variable. So we just plug in and be careful to plug in correctly, so it's 50 minus 4x over 2 pi, and that all is square. So we simplify a little bit to make it easier. And we see that we can cancel pi. So here uh, we also simplify it a little bit because we will be differentiating this equation later. So here this is our simplified version of the primary equation representing area. And now we're ready to differentiate the equation. So we use the product rule which gives us 2x plus and now we have a constant which stays there, 1 over 4 pi. And uh, the next term we see that we need to use chain rule because we have uh, composite functions. So we use outside and inside, we differentiate and if we all add it together we get 2 times 15 minus 4x times negative 4. And if we simplify that it gives us uh, negative 8 times 15 minus 4x. So we need to simplify this to make it a little bit easier. So it simplifies. 
and uh, in order to get critical points we set the equation to zero and now we uh, multiply by 4 pi to make it easier and we know that pi is 3.14 so we can simplify now and solve for x So we found that x equals 2.1 meters, which will represent our um, one side of the square. Now we need to figure out our range. We have 15 meters of mesh in total, and we could use only the square or only the circle, but we are going to use both, obviously, because we have two animals. So we will solve the range uh, from the circumference of the square and we solve for x which is uh, 3.75 which would be the maximum um, maximum x for our problem so this is our range from 0 to 3.75 so now, now let's see if 2.1 meters that we solved actually works for the minimum area so we chose 1 and 3 uh, which are numbers uh, 1 is smaller than 2.1 and 3 is bigger than 2.1 but they are still in our range so we plug in these numbers separately in our uh, differentiated equation for r and if we plug in 1 we get a negative number so that means that we can write it down that it's decreasing on the interval between 1 and 2.1 and if we plug in 3 we get positive number actually that means that it's increasing it's positive on the interval from 2.1 to 3 so if we see it like this if it's decreasing and after it increasing we have minimum at x equals 2.1 so we will actually get the smallest area from 2.1 meters for x so in order to solve uh, the radius of the circle, we plug in back to our secondary equation because now we solve for x. So if we plug in 2.1, we get that r equals, uh, let's see, r equals 1.05 meters. So we will use this for our circle. So here is just a quick recap. Uh, what we found our circle and square we found that radius will be 1.05 meters and one side of the square will be 2.1 meters so here we show our mom that it will actually not be uh, a big area it will be really small this the smallest area so mom will be happy and now we uh, need to confirm that uh, we will use 15 or less than 15 meters so that works perfect. So you take your midterm exam and you get A plus, of course, because you practice calculus not even knowing about it when you were making cages for your pets. Well, you come home and you see this. Mm-hmm. Life is full of changes.